Lucas de Jong reporting there. I've been speaking to the U.S. Congressman Chris Smith, who has campaigned for decades now against China's one-child policy. I asked him about the significance of Beijing's announcement about relaxing the rules on the number of children couples can have. Well, I think it's an extremely small step. The Communist Party continues to control reproduction. They handle their own populace uh, as, as a herd uh, and, and tell women when and if they can have children, uh, whether or not they are outside or inside the plan, and whether it be one or two. Uh, and even the first, uh, you need a birth allowed permit in order to have that child. Uh, and that is an outrageous violation of human rights. And forced abortion and coercion is rampant throughout the program. And one other point, there are missing in China today as many girls and females uh, and women as there are in all the people in England. Uh, you know, the, the estimates are anywhere from 50 million, and the high estimate is anywhere up to 100 million missing daughters as a result of sex selection abortion. And that presumably was outlawed some years ago. Uh, but it's not enforced, and as a direct result, uh, they have a huge skewed population of male to female. Is it possible to disconnect that and be dispassionate about the dangers of a population explosion, not looking necessarily at forced abortions, at what you allege to be nefarious activities of the Chinese state in controlling their population? Is it not possible just to look at the dangers of population explosion in a country like China, which already has more people than any country in the world? Well, I don't believe that the ends ever justify the means. And population control, China has now realized belatedly that they have a huge threat uh, to their economic gains that they have made, uh, attributable to the fact that they will have fewer and fewer workers for an aging population. So they have two horrible convergent megatrends happening in China today. First, the missing daughters, a direct result of the one child per couple policy. And secondly, the whole horrible issue of an aging population and a diminishing workforce. China, I believe, and its demographers understand that, uh, but they certainly, uh, their policymakers have been slow and almost non-responsive. This is an absolute minor small step because, again, even for a first or second order child, as they call them, you still have to get government permission. They tell you when and if you can have your child. And again, all unwed mothers are precluded from having children uh, unless they are married. It's U.S. Congressman Chris Smith speaking to me from Washington.